means prostitution is legal in Bahrain. Anybody? Who thinks it's okay to bring someone into their apartment and exchange sex for rent money? Anybody? By early 2018, word of the various investigations into sailors in Bahrain had reached the highest levels of the Navy's Fifth Fleet. In January of that year, the ongoing investigation made its way to the desk of then Vice Admiral John Aquilino, the head of the Fifth Fleet. His reaction was alarm and disbelief. Aquilino held an all-hands call with his sailors on the waterfront to discuss these cases and these investigations. Uh, we obtained audio from that all-hands call and Aquilino seems barely able to conceal his anger about what's gone on under his watch. Who thinks it's okay to bring foreign nationals into this nation and take their passport and push them out for services to both yourself and anyone else that one of your buds? Who thinks that's okay? It's highly unusual for a senior commanding officer to get involved in disciplinary matters of enlisted sailors. But Aquilino chose to address the issue of sex trafficking himself. I am shocked by that behavior. Who thinks that behavior can be considered right? Let's just talk about right and wrong. It will stop today. He basically warns any sailors who are doing this kind of trafficking or pimping that they will find them. And he says, if you know about it and don't report it, you're going to be in just as much trouble. You're going to be supportive of your buddy who's doing all things wrong. You're going to take allegiance there, or you're going to execute loyalty to the institution and the vast amount of sailors who are working their cans off. You got to pick. And if you pick the wrong choice, you'll fall into that category and NCIS will find you or you will be identified as a bystander who let this happen and the appropriate disciplinary path will be executed. And this theme will continue until we beat it out of our organization. It is unacceptable. With the number of cases involving prostitutes and allegations of everything from rape to human trafficking swirling around the base, Aquilino and the leadership launched an effort to quash the activity. So every U.S. sailor and service member for that matter is familiar with anti-human trafficking training. It's been a big part of the Pentagon's uh, bevy of training for years now. Uh, but the Navy says that now down in Bahrain, they are putting a new focus on this and ethics and character work. In response to Navy Times' request for interviews on the events in Bahrain, the current head of U.S. Fifth Fleet, Vice Admiral James Malloy, declined to speak with Navy Times via his spokesman. But the command put forth Captain Carrie Cash, the fleet's chaplain, who led revamped ethics training efforts in the wake of the 2017 events. Well, on the phone is Captain Kerry Cash, the NAVSENT fleet chaplain. I guess my first question for you is this kind of take me through your current efforts and when did they begin? There have always been deliberate and intentional efforts, both here at NAVSENT and, and I think across the fleet, to try to address um, human trafficking or solicitation of prostitution and try to, uh, to confront those issues. The, where the genesis of this came from was uh, the sense that we needed a more structured uh, and deliberate campaign. Can you take me through the specifics of what the program is yeah, doing? So there's two pieces. One was uh, I developed an advisory board uh, of senior officers and, and enlisted and a few junior folks. These briefs uh, dealt with character and, and this is kind of getting into the meat of what we, we talked about. Apparent to us in Bahrain is that we needed to do our due diligence and do our part to be more deliberate about the way we addressed it. To get a sense of how the service has handled the crisis there, Navy Times spoke with Captain Greg Smith, the commanding officer of Naval Support Activity Bahrain. We are um, certain that this is a big problem. You know, we recognize that we don't have all the answers. Honestly, it's, it's shocking to those of us um, who, are, who are trying to uh, maintain good order and discipline and uh, encourage moral behavior. But what we're trying to do, you know, we can't just wring our hands and say, hey, sailors will be sailors, right? We, we're, we're trying to be proactive and, uh, 
you know, educate folks that they know, you know, what's right and wrong. Uh, it's important to those of us in Bahrain and, and to me as the commanding officer at NSA Bahrain. And so we want to uh, be proactive and, uh, and deter and prevent uh, further engagement with trafficking in person to the, to the greatest extent possible. Historically, that was the perception that sailors, you know, the, the old phrase, there's a girl in every port. And so these are the kind of things that the Navy has been working culturally to change. And uh, yeah, we'd like to see this uh, problem diminish and uh, protect our sailors from uh, potential harm. So where do things in Bahrain currently stand? At least 16 sailors, including several officers and chiefs, were charged or disciplined for alleged crimes in Bahrain. The cases have all concluded, but the Navy has also refused to release several public records regarding the cases. The fact remains that U.S. sailors and, and prostitutes in Bahrain have mingled in the same circles for years. Whether the renewed efforts that the Navy purports are happening right now actually pay off remains to be seen. The Navy insists they have gotten a handle on Bahrain, and officials say they have had no new cases of U.S. sailors trafficking, pimping, or soliciting prostitutes since September 2018. Whether that will hold remains to be seen. Bahrain is small and off-duty leisure options are limited. Young sailors are still there, and so are the prostitutes.